uh, going back into the locations, we begin with one large location at the project level, which is illustrated here by the black uh, lines, the, the black bordering uh, bounding box around our uh, structural model. So this is all the space that we have to work with. How are we going to divide it into our work areas for schedule planning? Well, we can split it up any way we like, um, you know, vertically, horizontally, uh, areas within areas. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I first divided the uh, project level into each of the floors of our structure. So we've got levels one here. You can see that the, the overall box that was uh, containing the project is split into horizontal bands indicating the different floors. Level two, three, four, five, and roof level. You can see in a uh, in an elevated view of the uh, model here that we don't have uh, the entire floor going all the way up in each location of the building here. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, let's call the taller area. Uh, which is currently on the left, the tower, and on the right-hand side, uh, for lack of, of, of a better name, the podium. And, um, you know, understand that as we move into the scheduling environment, we're going to have, clearly, uh, some different quantities of work um, going on in different locations of the building. We have a full six-story array in the tower side, whereas we're, we're, we're only working with four and the top two stories on the podium side are, are partial uh, compared to the bottom stories. So um, this should provide us with some, uh, uh, I mean, logic, logic would dictate when you look at this building that you're not going to have the same duration for each location of, of steel erection here uh, because the, clearly the amount of work differs in each location. And the program will tell us exactly how different they are. So by splitting them into floors first, then I can get down into each individual floor and break each floor into the work areas that we'll be using to plan and track our schedule. As kind of a general breakdown, I've d defined a five location breakdown. That is three locations in the tower, A, B, and C. That's uh, A there, B, separated here and C here. And over on the podium side, we see D and E. Now I've replicated this uh, five location scenario uh, for each of the stories. Uh, except at level five and the roof area, which of course only have um, the the, uh, the tower side, and so uh, only need to be split into three locations. So we've completely defined our location breakdown structure for this project. Um, again, it's just the superstructure that we're focusing on right now. Um, obviously, you know, you have the flexibility to define uh, as many different location breakdown structures as you like. Um, in reality, you know, you're very likely to have a different location breakdown structure uh, for your exteriors, for your interiors, um, and, and, and your, and your, certainly your structural. Um, each of those should be, you know, analyzed and compared with each other. Uh, to minimize the, the schedule impact by having a discontinuous boundaries and, and, and overlap of areas. And we can talk a little bit about uh, more about that once we move into the scheduling environment. 